Today is also 100 years since the passing of Hawaii's Queen Lili'uokalani. Governor Ige, former governors, were among the hundreds gathered on the grounds of the state capitol for the centennial observation today. And at the hour of the Queen's death, bells tolled at more than 160 churches across the islands. McKenna Maduli was there at the capitol for the moving tribute today. <laughs> Rain gently fell at 8.30 this morning when 100 bells rang out at churches statewide to commemorate the 100-year anniversary of the passing of Queen Lili'uokalani. Hundreds gathered next to Iolani Palace at the state capitol with their ho'okupu, messages, and oli. <laughs> Former Governor John Waihe'e shared a story from his time at Washington Place, the Queen's residence where she passed at the age of 79. It was a human place, but it was also a place that when I had to face tough decisions, I would go downstairs and look at that portrait. And as I stared into her eyes, I tried to feel what she felt and what I got was an overwhelming sense of compassion. Beautiful melody written by the Queen were performed by Amy Hanai Ali'i Gilliam, Willie Kay, Marlene Sai, and Manu Boyd, and Hula in honor of Hawaii's last reigning monarch. In the audience, there were many familiar faces of the Hawaiian community, and Governor Ige proclaimed that 2018 will be the year of remembrance of Queen Lili'uokalani and had this message for the people of the Aloha State. Join us in recognizing the Queen's contributions to all of Hawaii and the lessons she continues to give and teach us, especially to live aloha each and every day. As the procession of Kahili ended the ceremony, there was a common thread that many were taking home with them. Queen Lili'uokalani stood down so we could rise up, and 100 years later, she is the best in all of us. McKenna Maduli, KHON 2 News. Mm -hmm.